for Gordon Rippey checking out the car show over here at Gordon Ashman Restaurant, Thursday, August 5th. Here's our new uh, restaurant, ticket booth. Got a few bikes here today. The Heritage Soft Tail, without the bags and all that. Set of Metzler's white walls on there. A road racer. And a 1050 trumpet. And so are. Have a British Racing Green Rabbit. It's got a, a foot whimsical display there. That's what uh, Gary Chapin, he, he died in a 75 bug. Gary Chapin, he was only uh, 38 years old. It's over by Jericho, New York. Yeah. So Gary Chapin died in a 75 in New York. Semi had him. A 75 bug? Yeah. It, it got $12 million in the settlement. Mm -hmm. The singer, Gary Chapin. You want to give me 15 for this one, you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> 50 gazillion. <laughs> I don't know where they had some of the prizes I heard, I've been hearing lately have been pretty funny. Did you build your car? Did you work on it huh? quite a bit? No. Did you, uh, you, really. you know how to keep it ticking and everything? Yep. Yeah, that I do. But, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Uh, California and New Mexico car, so it's no rust. Sweet. Wow. I don't even think I've rode in one, man. I don't remember that either. All that stuff. Thanks. Pretty powerful looking TA. So we we did we did the poor man's show and um, the monkey car. It was probably new locally. Take a closer look at this Falcon wagon. Sixty-two had that red engine. Two oh nine six. Uh, up cabs like awful half ton truck. Is it hot in there? You want me to crack a window for you, buddy? See, we see the goats. All right. How's it, how's it going back here, buddy? That's kind of nice to see that Volkswagen, I would say. All these cars. Falcon wagon with a Woody. I just don't remember anyone driving anything like that. It's pretty fancy. And then economy. We missing, we're missing all these automobiles over here. Race car over here, that Red Viper. The Golden Monkey. The Gold Duster. <laughs> So this one has unique uh, turn signals in the back, I think, from the factory. That could be wrong, too. That could be something like from J.C. Letton here or something. My friend's um, last run of the T-Bird over there sounded like a new penny. His brother-in-law is supposed to come over and fix my electric. I'm waiting a week, but they're opening a new shop. I suppose they're busy, and I was organizing my garage today. Just, you know, doing without electric, electric and um, uh, Chevelle. Uh, um, that would be. Uh, it almost looks like a clone. Did they really make an SS wagon? I guess so. It looks factory. It looks original, like original paint. Original rust, untouched. Wow. You talk about fancy, you know. I mean, if you wanted an SS, why would you buy a station wagon? But here we go. Chevy had one.
to 73. So it had all the smog on it. I, I would say it's an SS clone. Well, let's get up, yeah, and look at the dash, because it would say SS in here. It does, well, the SS door panel looks different. They robbed them off a, it's a clone. Yeah, it doesn't even have a factory tag. But yeah, they fooled me. That's what it was new. Chevelle SS clone. Howdy. Oh wow. I don't even hear you talking anymore. Huh? I don't know if you knew I had that. Um, uh, uh, the Z car? Yeah. Okay. Probably too competitive. That's all huh. right. How's your YouTube going? Yeah, it's been, uh, pretty well. You know, it's all free and good. Started getting into the money part yet? Oh, no, no. Now? Spending money. I burn, oh, yeah. I burn eight cameras up. I got 700 on my TikTok. Just that what do you think of this one, man? It's pretty sharp, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Look at this in chair. I didn't, yeah, I didn't realize the that they made new the seats like that. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, they didn't have headrests. Back in the early, early days, they didn't have headrests. This thing's pretty fancy. V8, yeah, it's 289. That's, that's one of Ford's best V8 ever built. That's one of the best snowblocks they ever put in the Mustang. Yeah, they sound good too. Oh, yeah. My, my brother, he's got a car with a power glide for two speed, so it sounds different. You know, it's kind of yeah, cool. You're like, you're waiting for it to shift and it just keeps going. But everyone had a power glide at one time. This one's like a 58, about the first year they made them. Okay. 60. Chevy car. Got the 409 in her. Kind of just meandering around here. Expensive automobiles, just four rows of them. So they were busting in in the middle of the night and taking six figure cars from the dealerships, and they think it was kids. They caught kids, like teenagers and stuff, that were maybe working for like a organized crime thing where they paid for. And these kids will go out and do the stealing, and someone else will, they bring the cars right to them. I think that's what I read anyway. Really like that blue duster with a 340 over there. So this one's a 396, and it's a 68. You know, you wouldn't want to sleep in a hotel with that parked out, you know, I mean. Someone would just come up and. I mean, you could, but you wouldn't be sleeping the best, that's for sure. A Tesla with the uh, glowing doors, but they're down and red. The Divico, or why do I call it Divico? It's a Divco. Somebody else has a Divico. The Duesenberg boat. But that, wow, uh, pretty good turnout here today. But I'm just going to make this, this will be the last film for today. Wonder if I, that look, reminds me of a judge. And another Divka, so. Uh, look, that one looks older, and this one looks newer. And this one says 1960. Just guessing. 
We've got a lot of smiles here today. It's been good, you know, all things considered. My, my, my old house is like an old car. It broke down. I'll fix it up. The paint horses back here. Pretty awesome uh, Corvette you're making now. Saw another load of them go by the house. And the Bowling Green plant. Big uh, Mark 5, Mark 4, yeah. I'll look at some trucks this weekend. Uh, Vintage Truck Magazine has their show at Young's Dairy. An old gal with a GT car. This dude back here. And we got the Orphan Car Show will be over there at the uh, Young's. 230,000 mile car. <laughs> Pretty good shape. And it over here to rolls. It's not, it's not the rolls. It's a Buick. Oh, there's a long haired sheep. A mountain sheep. Or a um, good, I'm sorry. The little guy hasn't grown a lot. Out here in that tall grass. On a hot day. So this guy's blue. It looks back from the other side. It's a royal blue. That was a popular color back in the 30s. Thought it was a rolls there at first. The big luggage compartment. 1931. The newer T Bird in black. I hauled some of the dies for um, your manufacturing to mold some of the interior on this. They didn't get too extreme on their dashboard on this one. But it's a triple black car. That's what, um, it should be in Florida or California. But here it is in Plain City, Ohio. First week, week of August. The car show. It's an O2. So, we think this guy's got this on bags. The, the chrome around them windows is just shining up. That's a, it's amazing how well these cars are made that you can just put some polish to them and they just brings them back. And so it looks pretty, uh, knows what he's doing with the um, patina thing they do. Look at all the buttons down there for the power. Very serious. Uh, Pretty cool uh, low rider car. It's a 50. He calls it the Rat Master. Buick Rat Master. Thanks for watching my videos, everyone. Bogo Rippy over here. The car show. The Dirt Dutchman restaurant. The winner eats steak. Free steak to the winner. Thursday night. Plain City, Ohio.